It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. Welcome to Jack. I see none of your friends wanted to play this evening, so you figured you'd just get in touch with old Schmitty. Well, thanks. Makes me feel really important. Hey, I'd appreciate it if you didn't go blabbing to everybody that we hung out today. We've got a reputation to uphold. One. Coming at you. Yes, I'll marry you. Now let's slaughter a goat. And this one's going to be worth $2,000. You know, we could make the marriage episode all lovey-dovey and sicky-sweet, but we all know the real reason people get married. To be able to have sex that is sanctioned by the gods. If you were married in the temple of the Greek god of marriage, what would be the most appropriate thing to burn at the altar after consummating your wedding bond? The groom's phallus, the bride's hymen, the satin pillowcases, or a Ramsey's condom? No, Ramsey's was an Egyptian pharaoh. You know, like that other guy, King Tutankhamun. You want to see what the smart money says? Assuming she's still got it, <laughs> yeah. The bride's hymen would be a fitting offering to Hymen, the Greek god of marriage. And I say if the bride is willing to do all that, the least the groom could do is offer up some roasted nuts. Cheers. Next, is that a stethoscope in your pocket? You get it right, I'm putting you up $2,000. Okay, you know how my mom always wanted me to grow up and marry a doctor? I mean, moms in general? Never mind. What's the best pickup line to use on an otolaryngologist? Either I'm in love or I've got heartburn. I only got ears, nose, and throat for you. I love you from the bottom of my liver. Or, <laughs> I'd give a kidney for a date with you. <laughs> An otolaryngologist is an ear, nose, and throat doctor. And you know your pickup line is worked when the doctor starts examining your throat with his tongue. Three. Here's a little something I call something borrowed, something old blue eyes. You get this one, you pocket 2,000 bucks. Flex those fingers, here it comes. According to the lyrics of the Sinatra song, Love and Marriage, what is true about love and marriage? It's a better place than Rome or Paris. It's a couple that's been much disparaged. They go together like a horse and carriage. Or they're as tasty as a mess of spare ribs. That goes in the win column. They go together like a horse and carriage. And for all you married couples out there, I'll leave it up to you to decide which of you is which. All right, don't freak out of me or nothing, but you're about to jump headfirst into a dis or dat. The name of your dis or dat category is paying the bill, if you know what I mean. Okay, I'm going to read off seven phrases, and for each one, I want you to tell me if it's a type of mortgage or a sexual position from the Kama Sutra. Yeah, as each phrase appears, if it's a type of mortgage, you press that square button. If it's a sexual position, press the circle button and hit the triangle to skip the ones you're having trouble with. I'll give you a thousand dollars for each right answer, and I'll take away a thousand for every wrong answer or for those that you didn't get to. All right, I'm going to start you off with 30 seconds on the clock. Okay, hold my hand. We're going. Growing equity, mortgage or sex position. Widely open. Wrap around. Half breath. Shared appreciation. Lotus light. Black one. Balloon. Well, you missed three of them, but you got four, so let's see what you did to your total. Hey, keep it to yourself, huh? Your score could be going down. Let's see what else we got. Five. Category is a chiseled rear end. One thousand bucks if you get it. So, we all know that commandment, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, right? <laughs> well then, according to the Ten Commandments, what else shall you not covet? Your neighbor's rump, your neighbor's ass, your neighbor's butt, or your neighbor's bootay. According to the Tenth Commandment, you shall not covet your neighbor's wife, his manservant, his maidservant, his ox, or his ass. Well, 
okay, you are allowed to covet your neighbor's ass if it's in that lotus-like position. Six. This category is incest really is best. You get it right, you get 2K. Put your head between your knees, because we're going down. If the Beverly Hillbillies wanted to put incest to the lifelong test, which couple could not legally marry? Ellie Mae and Jethro, Jethro and Granny, Jed and Miss Jane, or Jed and Ellie Mae? <laughs> Granny is not a blood relative of Jethro, so the two of them could get it on. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go vomit. <laughs> Let me show you what I would have picked. Jed and Ellie Mae are father and daughter, so their marriage would be illegal. But it sure would make for a right interesting next verse in the bail of the jig. Clamp it. Woo, dog! Seven. The category's gonna be Shake Those Giblets. How does $2,000 sound? Think fast. It's question time. If you go to hell and are forced to do the chicken dance for all eternity, which of the following moves will you not have to perform forever? Peck at the ground like a hungry chicken, shape your hands like a chicken beak, wiggle your butt like it's a chicken tail, or flap your arms like chicken wings. There's no ground pecking in the chicken dance. And you know, in hell, they take it one step further and make you do the chicken dance to the tune of Moni Moni. Eight. I'm calling this one, She's God's Angel Now. Two thousand bucks for a correct answer. Okay, imagine a lost episode of Charlie's Angels in which Farrah Fawcett's character, Jill, is married and then dies. If the characters observed the Sora Rape custom of marriage, who would Jill's hubby receive as his new wife? Whomever Charlie decides to appoint, Sabrina or Kelly, whoever is older, Jill's sister Chris, or Bosley. The Sora Rape custom states that Jill's sister would become her husband's new bride. And the happy new couple would be known as Mr. and Mrs. Lucky Son of a Bitch. Nine. This one's called, His Mother's Maiden Name is Rumpy Poco. I got $2,000, says you don't know this one. Okay, so you remember when all you could see in all the newspapers and Letterman's top ten lists was this Joey Buttafuoco? Oh, boy, did that guy give marriage a black eye. Not only adultery, but statutory rape. And then the Amy girl shoots the wife in the face. Come on, it's enough to put you off marriage forever. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah, here we go. How do you spell Joey's last name? Oh, and if you think I'm going to spell them out for you, you're nuts. Pick one. There you go. It's B-U-T-T-A-F-U-O-C-O. -O. And Buttafuoco was his name, oh. Ten. Coming at you. Who threw the rice cake that knocked out the bride? You get it right, I'm giving you $1,000. So they tell me it's supposed to be bad for the environment to throw rice at the bride and groom. Well, suppose instead of throwing rice at the bride and groom, people throw a drink made from rice. With which alcoholic beverage will the happy couple probably be soaked? Sake, vodka, rum, or whiskey? Sake is made from fermented rice. And wedding memories are made from a bride and groom who are fall down drunk before the reception even starts. I hope you've taken your medication because we're heading straight for a quinky dink. Okay, come closer. I'll show you how this thing works. I'm going to show you different pairs of things that are related somehow. And I'm going to give you a bunch of items that may or may not connect the two. Buzz in if you think an item correctly joins the pair. You're getting a thousand bucks if you're right. But drive carefully. You're going down one thousand for every wrong answer. At the end, I'm going to give you a shot at some extra bonus cash. Let's just say you should pay close attention to all the correct answers. This Kawinky Dinks category is You May Kiss Your Life. Goodbye. You got it? I hope so, because we're rolling. Sprays droplets of water, a masculine title. What unites these two? Finish third, and play can tell.
McDuckins, and British French fries. Let's go for the bonus. Tell me what all of the correct answers have in common. Are they all lame wedding gifts? Famous sisters. It's all yours. Yeah, they're all misters. That makes you a Mr. Master. You got them all. Now see if you can get that bonus. Player one, you're a winner all around. How about that? Let's get out of here. Twelve. Next, another yawn at the opera. And this one's going to be worth $2,000. Open wide. Given his former occupation, what could the title character in Mozart's The Marriage of Figaro provide prior to the ceremony? Flowers for the altar, haircuts for the bridesmaids, booze for the rehearsal dinner, or prostitutes for the bachelor party? No, it's The Marriage of Figaro, not The Front Lawn by Vigoro. I could have given you some cash if you picked this one. Figaro from The Marriage of Figaro was also the title character in The Barber of Seville. Oh no, I've given you all the same haircut, and now I can't tell you apart. Here's a little something I call, my spouse is greasy. You get it right, I'm putting you up $2,000. Well, believe it or not, there's this place called the drive through Tunnel of Love where you can get married in your car. Which begs the question, if the window attendant minister convinces you to supersize your spouse's wedding ring to pure gold, how many carrots will the ring have? 14 carrots, 24 carrots, 28 carrots, or 36 carrots? 24 karat gold is considered pure gold. Honey, they didn't give us our marriage license. Instead, they've had you declared legally dead. Damn it, they always screw up my weddings in the drive-thru. The category is, can I help you? You give me a right answer, I'll give you 3,000 bucks. Eyes forward, we're going. Which of these would you have seen in a movie entitled My Best Friend's Wedding in Cana? Dermot Mulroney, drunk on water, Rupert Everett raising the dead, Cameron Diaz pelted with loaves and fishes, or Julia Roberts healing lepers? No way! Do you have any idea how hard it is to heal a leper and continuously flip your hair at the same time? Hey, if you got a minute, take a look at this. The wedding in Cana is a story from the New Testament in which Jesus turns water into wine. <laughs> no more water. Okay, but now we have to baptize you! You've almost made it to the credits, but first, the attack. When you see two words that match, hit your buzzer. If you're right, you get 2,000 bucks. If you're wrong, you're losing 2,000. Oh, and one more thing to remember. Remember the clue. The two words that match have to fit this clue. With this IV wed? Yeah, that's what my first wife said. Checks in the mail, honey. Thanks for listening.
free to win against yourself. Find some competition and then you'll see. You don't know Jack! I am still waiting. Please enter a name before I choose one for you. Excellent. I will now get a hug in your face. Love, nut. I am unable to read Hi, mine. I'm Steel Dakota, like president again, of the National Gun Association, and I'm here to tell you about yet another reason why you need to protect your right to bear arms. Consider this all too familiar scenario. Come here, Fluffy. Yeah, nice kitty. You're a good kitty cat. Hey, wait, Fluffy, where, where, where'd you get that AK-47? Huh? Hey, hey, don't be crazy. Hey, hey, put that down. Wait. <laughs> Whether it's a dangerous home invader or a heavily armed house cat, America, protect your rights and protect yourself. Mr. Johnson's magic powder will make you invisible. Me? Yes, you. Really? How? Just add water and drink. Try it. Okay. <laughs> All right, look in the mirror. It uh doesn't seem to be working. Ah, but close your eyes now. <laughs> Oh my god, it's a miracle! I can't see myself! This stuff really works! Mr. Johnson's magic powder! This stuff really works! Who is that? Where's that voice coming from? A little help here? Brains. Brains. He's America's number Brains. one zombie recording Brains. artist. Brains. He's inspired millions Brains. with his words and his voice. Brains. And now, available Brains. for the first time Brains. on Compact Disc, Brains. you can get all of Zombie Brains. Lou's greatest hits. Brains. Including the heartfelt, my brain gun left me. Rainy day romance. And the unforgettable classic, Rain for the Holidays. You and your loved one will want to listen to this CD again and again as Zombie Lou sings his way into your hearts. Copies are limited, so order now. Just send $15.95 to the gravestone underneath the old oak tree, St. Peter's Cemetery, New York, New York. No spanking the monkey during the season, squirt! How many times did I hear that? Hi, I'm Hawks quarterback, Rusty Grew, and I'd like to tell you doing it with yourself is okay. It's easy, fun, and you don't need any special shoes. It's the best thing I know for the pregame jitters. Cool and in control, Rusty Crew throws for over 400 yards! Treat yourself right. Masturbate before practices and games and you'll be a winner too. <gasps> you can put on weight and make it stay on. I gained 50 pounds in two weeks. I feel large and in charge. Watch out, people. Here I come. Chubba Bubba All Lard and Gravy Sports Drink is the easiest, most delicious way to put on those pounds. I enjoy a cold Chubba Bubba in the morning, one in the late morning, one at noon, uh, one at two o'clock or so, one at dinner, one at the late evening. It's snack. that easy. Chug it down, America. Chug, 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 chug. Chubba chug, Bubba chug, All chug, Lard chug, and Gravy chug, Sports Drink. Excellent. I am full of the 